Hello everybody, it is Jordan Yates and today I'm at MFE Enterprises in Dripping Springs, Texas with Brian Duke and we're going to do an unboxing. We got two really big boxes here. Brian, what are we looking at? We're looking at the MFE Mark IV. This is our 65 pound piece of equipment that goes inside of a tank for scanning floor bottoms. Okay, what kind of tank? Above ground storage tanks that are made with metal. Okay, so for like oil and gas or any kind of tank? Any type of fluid, honestly, just liquids period would be the best uh, way to describe that. Very cool, all right, let's crack it open. Which box are we doing first? We're gonna do this box. This is our handle box right here. And okay. this is 47 pounds. Oh. And this is going to hand uh, contain our handle, the cables, the batteries, the battery charger, and this is going to be just the upper part of the unit itself right here. All righty, well, can we pop it out and take a look? Yes, we can. All right, let me take a step back and switch with you. Yep, all righty, so over here, we've got our three cables that are required to operate the machine. Okay. And then this is the unit itself right here. This is the handle for the MFE Mark IV carbon fiber, aluminum, and a military grade tablet. But we got something else in the other bin that's an important part of it as well, correct? Yes. So okay. what's in this box? Okay, this over here is our magnetic bridge for the Mark IV handle. This case is 97 pounds. The reason that this thing is 97 pounds is that it keeps the magnetic flux here inside the box. Mm -hmm. We transport this on airplanes, so it's really important that the flux stays inside the box so okay. it doesn't interfere with the plane controls or communications or anything. It also serves as a function test where I can, once we put this together, I do a function test and basically I'm just determining that the machine works, it's okay. ready to go, and then we can go get in a tank later on to do it. All right, let's see it. All right, and ta-da. Nice, so a lot of the weight is the box more so than this itself? Correct, the plate itself is a half inch okay. and that's what's required to keep the flux inside, but this is the bridge itself and we would take the handle over here and attach it to the bridge. Okay, very cool. How difficult is it to combine these two? Actually, we're gonna just pull these two T-pins right here. Okay. Here's one, here's the other. Set these off to the side and I would grab the handle and attach it right here. Okay. It is extremely easy. This is a brand new unit, so the paint and everything is gonna be really tight. So yes. I say it's easy. It may end up uh, maybe here while wiggling it to get yeah. it in. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Want me to go ahead and do it? Absolutely. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna grab this. Okay. I'm gonna line this up right here. Normally I am doing this on the ground, so this may be a little different. All right. But I'm gonna line it up. Oh, wow, right, super easy. easy peasy. Super simple. I'm gonna do that and tilt it back. And now the handle has been attached to the bridge. That's Just it. like that? Just like My that. goodness. And so the cool thing is too, is you said that you guys machine all these parts here in the location that we're in right now. Yes, uh, we do the bridge, the components, the parts, the handles, all this stuff is made on this equipment behind us. Uh, the only thing we don't make here is the handles, the wheels, and the GTEC tablet because it's an advanced uh, a military grade tablet and that is not made here. Uh, we yeah. don't do that, but all these other parts, and I think I'll show you some of that a little bit later. We'll walk around the shop and get some shots on that, but everything else is made here. Well, shout out to the team for, you know, precisely manufacturing this so well, because I mean, that slid in easily. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, this was pretty easy. Yeah, and then this flips up the yes, screen. Yes, we would rotate our screen up okay. right here. Lock our handle in place. I would pull these two pieces here. Okay. And then I can adjust this to the height of the operator. Wow, very cool. This is very, very spiffy looking, so. Ergonomic, depending on the person using it. All right, so it looks really cool. That was very easy to assemble. And then the last step would be adding the cables on. Yep, I'm gonna add our three cables that come with the machine. These are advanced mil-spec connections. And they have a little O-ring on them. I'm gonna snap that down. Okay. That one went on real easy. It goes red dot, red dot here. It's kind of hard to see for me. That was our <laughs> signal cable. This is our encoder cable. Okay. The encoder is nothing but a digital tape measure. And that gives us a ability to know precisely where the defects are uh, distance wise from where mm -hmm. we started. This one is our electronics cable right here. And this is gonna combine all that data after we've amplified it up to our GTEC tablet up here. Amazing. And that's it. it is assembled. And what we do next is the function test. 
Very cool. Well, thanks for giving us the unboxing and the overview. This is clearly a very sleek product with an awesome job that it has to do. It's it's cool. It kind of looks like a, a fancy vacuum cleaner almost. Yeah, you know? <laughs> or a va vacuum cleaner, rug doctor, uh, just a little bit more expensive. Just a little. Just but a little bit. <laughs> if you guys want to reach out to Brian, I'm going to put all of his information in the description below. You should definitely connect with them on LinkedIn, check out their website. And if you want to learn more, this is your guy. Thanks, guys. See you later.